Hi guys, welcome to Tango and Racket Tutorials. Today we are going to be navigating through kayak.com. We are going to show you a little bit of the special features of this platform and how to use it to book tickets and hotels and many other things that this page is offering. So the first thing that I want to show you, if you see at the top right in your screen, you will see that you have option to choose the currency in which you want to see the prices of everything that you look, call it flights, hotels, buses, whatever. So in our case we are going to use euro currency to make it permanent. And then the other thing that we can change from here is the language. Now we were working in Spanish because I speak in Spanish. But now, for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to try to locate English and use United Kingdom English. We accept the cookies. The next thing is that you can log in to the page. It will be good to save your searches or whatever thing you like, price added. All the special features that we are going to explain is better if you are logging with some account. You can use any any email that you have. You can use your booking.com account, Facebook, Google, or Apple. In our case, we are going to use our Google account in Tango and Rakia. You see, if you are logging, then you will save also your favorites and so on. So the first thing that uh, that you see when you come to kayak.com is this little piece of fields where you can look for flights, the most basic use that people give to kayak.com. We are going to go back later to explain a little bit more, but this is the first thing that you will find in the home page. Then you will see also in, in, in all the all the page and in all the options that there is a lot of advertising, but what you can do it is like it is. Then if you scroll down a little bit more on the page, you will see this very cool feature that they have uh, in the last period through COVID-19 that is called destination that you can travel to now. So it's, it's all you will see all the destinations that are allowing tourism. Nevertheless, you will see all, also information about the restriction to go to that particular place and all that you need to know if you are going to travel there. So as you see here, you can see how to travel to France, Turkey, Poland. So they tell you that vaccinated travels, travelers can go to other places, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Portugal, Ireland. Then if you scroll a little bit down, you will see that there are options that are some sort of post. Uh, where they are giving you tips for next flight, about travel insurance, travel restrictions distributed on a map, how to, to book hotels in wheels, okay, many options that they are changing through the time. So it's, it's, it's very nice alternative to, to have a look from time to time to see if there is something new or useful or relevant for us. Now we scroll a little bit down we will see some good deals that they are proposing for April. So the famous that if you book quite in advance, you will get better deals. So you see that some of the options are to visit Rimini, Rio, Eindhoven, Ulysses. The different prices drop for that specific period. So you can also navigate if you don't know where to go. And you have three days in April, let's say that for example we have Easter. Then you can come and see what you have near to your house. Sorry for that. And you can see what you have near your house and see if the offer is good for you. Then you have other more options for macro planning of trips including car flight hotels. And that's one very good thing about kayaks that for example Sky Canada doesn't have 
that is that you can book packages. You see, in this case, they are proposing a lot of destinations, but all of them they are including not only the flight but also the hotel and the car booking. So now let's go to what is interesting in kayak. If you see now on the top left, you will have this menu here that you can hide or display. And one of the first options will be to book the flights that we are going to navigate a little bit later. Then the second option is stays or also known as hotels, bed and breakfast and so on. As you can see, the interface in general is common to all this kind of searches of hotels or flights. So it's quite intuitive. You see you put destination, departing date, uh, sorry, arriving, arrival date, departing date, how many guests, and you get it. You will get a lot of results. Then you ha you have also some suggestions, like what is near to you at the moment because they know where we are locating. Uh, some other options, split by categories like hotel, homestays, hostel, guest houses. Of course, the range of prices vary. And again, you see this option for tips and so on, more, more alternative proposals. But basically, this is what you get when you're going to book a hotel. Then, the next option will be to book a car. The same typology of search. You put a city when you want to start the rental, when you want to finish it, at what time. And you can get the results. And then again, you get tips, you get some ads, etc., etc. You have always also at the end of all the categories the section of frequently asked questions, which is good to to have a look from time to time because sometimes there is something useful or some specific problem that you have at that point, and maybe you can find the answer here. And for example, if it is cheaper to hire a car at the airport or outside. If you can rent a car, a great car uh, what is the minimum age to hire a car? This, of course, will vary depending on the section, no? Because, for example, if we go to space for the sake of clarify this, you don't even have it. So you see, it will vary depending on the section. And that will be about cars. And then here come the cool stuff because you can also rent campers, and that. Another great perk of using Kaya.com that you can uh, book not only car, uh, rent cars or book, but also campers, ferries, uh, and trains. So you have more variety of uh, transports to build your trip. Then the typology of use will be the same, even with less information and that. But again, you pick up the city when you want to start the rental, when you finish it, and that's it. Then you have the option for ferries as well, some typology. Of course, there has to be a port, no? But you have some proposals based on map location for the language. So this is where I could take a ferry and book it to this page. Then you have a very, uh, a very cool free perk also on the page. This is what to do in a specific city that you can tag here. In this case, they are proposing Pamplona for some reason. So I don't know why it's proposing this particular one. And they give you option for tours to book with them, events, attractions, and so on. So you can do wine tours, city and food in San Sebastian. I have many different options. And depending on the city, of course, you will get different results. No? You can go here, for example, if you are traveling to Paris, that Paris, and in a certain decent amount of time, you should be getting the result. And here you see all the excursions that you can do, where you can arrive. and see what you can do in that specific place. 
Gansit also in that bag, is like travel, food and drinks, day trips, tours. So it's better if you navigate it, you put the city that you are interested in, and you see what is available or what the city is offering to the tourists in general. The next thing that I want to show you, and this is very cool because it's for free. Then you can also book trains, again, same typology, to the city. And something that I was forgetting, you can not only book the train, but also the bus is here. So you can basically build a full network of connection between different transport, flight, buses, trains, ferries. So you can virtually go all around the globe, booking everything through this page. And then, again, to plan some stuff, going with train only. We have some options. And again, you put the city, where you go, where you start, when you want to depart, when you want to arrive. Then you have the option that I was saying before, that is to book a whole pack. So you see how many people, how many dates, departing city, arrival, date, and again the proposal. For example, let's say that we are going to be two travelers, three days, to give you some margin, you know, to give you better dates, they tell you plus, minus three days. And let's see if they can get you the best deal. And then you can make the search. And as you see in the results, you will get everything. Tell you the flight, you get the hotel. And you can investigate it in more detail, but basically you are getting the full package. Okay. With flights, hotels, hotels, flights. So this will be the option to book a package. And then you can, of course, filter it a little, sort it uh, according to your needs. If you want with lowest price, best review. The same you can filter how many reviews call for the hotel, price that you want, my, the amount of money that you want to spend on the trip, airline, etc. Then going back a little to the menu, then we have the travel insurance options. This, in general, we use the one that we have from Revolut, and we use it for traveling. But if you are traveling and you don't have any, you can have a look to see if this fits your need. So you can get it for a, for a single trip, for a specific trip that you are making, or for a long trip. With many, with many layovers or stops. And then you fill all the information about where are you going, when are you going, you know, like any other insurance, I don't really want to, to go through it. So you can investigate it in case you need it. Know that the option is there and you can use it. Maybe it makes totally sense if you are booking all the services, the flight, the hotel, the car hire and everything. With kayak, maybe makes sense to take the insurance as well with them. And the next option that I want to show you that this is more interesting is the option of, the, they call it explore here. We are basically, you don't have too much uh, of an idea what you want to do. So you can just tell them like, for example, I am, no, I am departing for Barcelona. And then you can say, I don't want to do any stop in whatever they offer to me, I don't want to, to do stops, only direct flight. And let's say that my budget is, well, this is putting in pounds because it thinks that we are located in UK. Let's see if we can set it up to euro. Make permanent. There it goes. So now let's say our budget is uh, 300. And we don't want to travel more than five hours. And we can also say where we want to go, where we, we love the beach. So we are going to go to the beach. And then you can say, 
in which season? Let's say in February, next month. No, let's keep it any time. Any time, but only for a week, not for the day. Leave it there, in seven days. And then you see, starting from nursing and with some filtering options, you get some alternatives based on your budget, how, how long you want to, to stay, how long you want to travel, and so on. In there you get all the alternatives. Let's say that we decided that we want to go to Corfu in Greece. So they give you this option, to tell you. But you can go from Barcelona to Corfu, it's a direct flight, two hours and a half, the price. Then you can see, check it in detail. Uh, and you can pick the departures, they give you some nice photos to convince you. And that's it. Then you can go check the prices and you make the actual booking. And that will be the option or that they call Explore. Then they have another option directly called Deals where you can, well, it's auto-defining. Uh, you just uh, find deals related to cars or, for example, you can tell them, I am going to France. So then, he said, I want any kind of deals in February. And again, you set up your budget. Let's say that your budget is 100. No, let's go, let's go to 200. 200 is okay. And then, apparently, there is nothing for that amount. So, if we look for for money, yet, unfortunately, there is nothing. So this is not the best option that they are offering today, but you can investigate it. Maybe if you use the option Anywhere you get more deals that if you use a specific country. But anyway, you can investigate it by yourself. You know it is there. Then you have the option for routes. That more or less is the same that we were seeing for Explore. It's like two times the same, the same option. So there is not much to explain here. Then if you want to take direct flights, from one place to another, this option simplifies a little the results. That's the, the main goal of this. And then you have another option for travel restrictions. Depending on the country, they will tell you, let's say that you are going to Uruguay, they are going to tell you what's going on there, on the specific. Okay, and then, the other option that we have in case we already are logging and we are saving favorite things and that, we have the option to trip where you can start to plan and then you can see that in the application. So if you create an account then you can download the, the app to your phone or to, or to your iPad, tablet. And then everything that you are getting, tickets, hotels, reservation, bookings and that, you can go in the application and you can manage it, everything, in a centralized manner from there. And now let's go a little bit more to the, to the flight options, that it was the goal. Let's say that now we are traveling from Barcelona to Paris. And we want to go from the same to 23. You can see in different ways the calendar. You can see the specific date, week and month. So it depends. Try to keep it this way in complete dates. 
So let's say that we have set up all our options for the trip uh, for the part to city arrival and date. You have many other options here. Well, not many. There are four, actually. But you can pick up if you want only return ticket one way, multi-city, or build your own experience. That's another option that we'll be, are, we are going to be visiting later. Then the multi-city, if you want to, uh, to add more than one stop. In our case, we are going to go for a simple return. Only one traveler. You can choose also if you want to change category premium business first. In our case, we are going to use economy again. We are going to not dispatch any luggage. So let's see what we can get with that option. Now probably this is very familiar because many of the platforms have this same kind of lay, layout for the results. Call it sky scanner, the kayak that we are watching now, e dreams, etc. So as you can see now you have many results, but this is a little disturbing because you cannot go through all these many results and you want to find the best price according to your needs. So the first option that I will show you here is that you can set up the price alarm here. Of course you need to be registered or logged in, otherwise you will not be able to receive the price alarm. So you can turn it off or on depending on your on your need. Now I am going to turn it off because I am not really interested in getting this ticket. As you can see in this left part of the screen you have a lot of filter alternatives. For example, you can say how many stops you are willing to do to be interested still in that ticket. So let's say we only want direct flights to reduce a little the list. Then you can see if they are including anything of this because maybe some tickets are not including it so you can check for this if you want to add some back, check out back or anything. How you want to pay probably this doesn't make sense because most of the cases you are able to pay with credit card. And then you have many other options like for example from where you want to depart because as we said you can also book trains in kayak so they are giving you not only the Barcelona airport but also the train station. In our case, we are taking it because we want to go by plane to take more profit of the days. And the same happened with France. They have many airports and train stations. So we are only going to leave Charles de Gaulle as airport where we want to arrive. And then we can also filter at what time we want to depart, in the afternoon for example, and returning late at night on Sunday. You can choose also which is the airline that you prefer to travel. There is maybe some airline that you don't like and you want to avoid. So you can filter it from here as well. There is also the option um, to see if there is some alliance group where you get mileage and that. You can choose it here. You can choose as well the duration of the flight. Because maybe if you choose option with layover, one stop, two stops, and you say, no, I don't want, I can make two stops, so they don't want to travel more than 12 hours. So you can set it up from here. And then you have, I see many other filters by price, eh, by stops, if you choose them, etc., etc. And then at the end, if you go at the top of the results, as you can see, the list has been reduced a lot with our filter. And now finally, you can also sort the result depending on what you want to see. In general, we prefer to see the cheapest first. So let's see if we have that option. And it seems that in this case, we don't have it. 
uh, we have it here. It's directly filtered here as a chipper. And now, as you can see, we have the results sorted as we wanted with the filter reward, and these are the options. It seems that the cheapest alternative in this case is 94 euros. We are traveling with Air Europa, I think, and we are returning the dwelling. So, to get more information about it, we can click on it, and you see that the duration of the trip, who is operating, is there Europa, welling, where are they parting, where they are arriving, how long it takes each, each flight, you get all the details. And then, as you can see, you see here the main offers from the different travel operators and agencies. And here comes one important clarification that I want to make to all of you. When you are operating with kayak.com, you are able to see all the best deals, not always, no, but best deals in hotels, in flights, maybe in trains, and in packages. Nevertheless, you are not booking with them. All of that, at the end, as you can see, is done through an external third party, including the travel operator or agency. So once you choose the, the, the fare that you like, the price that you like, or that you are more interested in, you will be automatically redirected to the page of that specific operator. It means that if your trip then is delayed, your suitcase is uh, lost, or you want to cancel or change the date, whatever any modification that you want to do to your original reservation has to be done through that specific operator or maybe the airline if the operator decided that way. So now the only thing that we have to do is to just pick the deal that we want. And as you can see, we are being automatically redirected to another page, in this case, my trip. And they are, it's a little bit annoying, but you will need to choose again the ticket that you were selected there and go for the final steps of the payment which we are not going to cover in this case. And that, guys, will be all about Kayak. Uh, there are many options. Many times you will find many good deals. Many are. It's better to compare, to be sure. But in any case, it's always good to consider utilizing this platform as well as the other. And at the end of the day, sometimes you will find the deals in one of them and sometimes in others. So, if you like this tutorial, I suggest you to go and see all our tutorials related to the flight companies and how to get the best deals out of them. So, thanks for watching. If you have any doubt or any comment, any question that you want to know to us, please leave it down in the comment. If not, visit our blog, www.tangoandraikia.com, and there you will find also many other useful information related to travel destinations, best tips to travel, to book tickets, hotels, and many others. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you are back again next time.